everyone, Danielle Lara here. I am back with reviewing another one of Walt Disney's beloved classics. And this one is Peter Pan. Yes, Peter Pan. Yeah, another, as I said with Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan is another film I love. I love, like, with the classic formula and I just, I love everything about it, guys. Peter Pan is a great film. It has a great story and it has beloved, lovable characters and a villain, of course. And it has a great moral as well, you know, believing, you know. I mean, sure, like, I know that there are times where, like, we have to grow up and stuff. And I know, I know that feeling. Noah really wants to grow up like that and lose their childhoods. I understand how that feels. And that kind of explains why Peter Pan acts the way he is. But, you know, it is hard to move on, but still... We can still have those moments with us as long as we remember them and, and as long as we still believe. Because there are some times where some people won't believe you or, you know, would be like, it doesn't exist or whatever. But, yes, this is a great message for all of us. And, yeah, I love Peter Pan, guys. And, uh, yeah, it is a great classic film. And I even heard that Tinkerbell... This was also Tinkerbell's first appearance. She made appearances in the Tinkerbell films, and I thought they were all great films, guys. I love the Tinkerbell films. Yes, I know some people are like, why, they, these movies suck or whatever. No, no, they do not. I think they are great films. I think they're great films that deserve better. No matter how, what anybody would say, I love them. And it's sad that there were not any more after that. I really wanted more of that, but oh well. What can we do, right? And yeah, there's also um, many other versions of Peter Pan. There is Hook. There is the 2003 film. There is the animes. And all all these I loved. Those are all great adaptations to the original story. Yeah, they were all very original. I mean, sure, they might have a few changes here and there, but, you know, they were only trying to improve, at least where they're not putting things where everything is out of place or anything. Like, for example... Okay, guys. Here's one. Here's a little bit of advice I would give to y'all. Avoid the... I would recommend... I would advise all of you to avoid the one that just came out recently, Peter Pan and Wendy on Disney+. Plus. Do not watch that version, guys, please. It just ruined everything that the original had, you know, with all this man-bashing propaganda and all this politic stuff. I am so tired of that, guys. I, I hate it when they add those things in these types of movies. It's really, really getting too much. And I mostly blame um, Bob Iger or Eager for this. These woke cultists really got to banish off this earth. Because I can't take what they're doing anymore. It's really frustrating. It gets on my nerves. And I just just can't. I'm sorry, guys. I can't live with that. But yeah. As I was saying, I love this film. It has a great classic formula to it. And and yeah, I love it. I really love this film. <laughs> I know, like, so, this might have like some people believing that they would like to fly with Peter Pan or you know I mean I don't blame them because I would I would sure love to go to Neverland with Peter Pan or even go with Alice in Wonderland go with Alice to Wonderland that would be so much fun right I think all of us would want to dream like that and that's why I think that's why I love these films and I love I will always love the classic formula yeah and Walt Disney has done a great job, and he is a true legend when it comes to these types of films. And, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm probably going to end off here by saying thank you guys for watching this review and um, all that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe and comment and like. And this is Danielle Lara signing out. Goodbye.